Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here with you guys working on developing our intuition. Today, I want to talk about my two hand method of tuning in to your intuition using your body. Your body is an amazing tool. And the key is to remember when you are needing to make a decision, um, need some insight to remember to go back to the basics and use your intuition because let me tell you, I had a huge decision I had to make recently and I got so stuck and I was having such a hard time and I was trying so hard to use all of my tools and because it was trying so hard and I had placed so much importance on this decision I had to make, I was just like hitting a wall. It was like just banging my head against the wall. At least that's what it felt like. It felt horrible. So here's another tool that you can use that kind of gets you out of your head. I call this the two hand method um, because you're gonna use your two hands. So I have an exercise to go with this at the end of the video. And I will go ahead and post a couple exercises that specifically focus on this if you wanna get better at using your hands. All right, so you're gonna go through the same type of preparation that you do with my other method where you get into a relaxed position. So you'll get relaxed, whether you're gonna be laying down or just sitting on the couch, whatever, get relaxed. Intuition always works better. It's so much easier to tune in when you're relaxed. Then you'll do the AHA method again. So you will just, and this is just getting mindful. If you don't wanna do AHA, if that's a little weird for you, it doesn't feel right, you can just focus on your breath. So for me, in my mind, I think AHA, and I'll just do that ah um, thinking it really relaxing and breathing and paying attention to what's going on in my body for a couple minutes. So the two hand method works when you have two choices. I wanna take path A or path B. Um, when I get readings sometimes for people who have multiple partners or they're, they're trying to make a decision about um, people they're dating, person A, person B. Um, I need to choose between A or B. I'm gonna have rice for dinner or pasta for dinner, whatever it is, two different, you have two different options. And you're going to, so after you do the aham and you're relaxed, you'll assign each hand a different option. So let's say I'm going to assign this hand path A, this hand path B and see how it feels in your body. And everybody's different. For me, the hand that feels heavier is the hand that my intuition is nudging me towards. It's the yes, It's the, this is the path to take. This is where I should go. Some people get a tingling in their hand. Some people might get an itch or some kind of physical sign. And it's gonna take some practice figuring out what your physical sign is. And that's why I'm gonna post some exercises so you get really good at it. So when you need it, you have it to use. So in today's exercise, I have two rocks. So this is a Damborite, and this is, I believe it's a Shungite pyramid. And I chose one of these. So I want you to pause the video. You'll relax do your ahams, and then assign each hand one of the rocks and ask your intuition to show you which one I chose. Really feel your hands, pay attention to the sensations in your hands. Put what you get in the comments below and also what your hands feel like, and then come back for the reveal. All right, so I chose the black pyramid and I would love to know what you think of this method, how you thought this exercise went, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed having more methods, if you want me to post more things like this, I'd love to know. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna be notified whenever I post new videos like this. Have an amazing day, and I'll catch you in the next video.